A very good morning to you all ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you're all doing very well indeed and it is the morning of the Canto Tour Day. Exciting stuff for damn sure and uh, let's start things off by saying I hope you all had a good day by the time you watch this. Do let me know in the comments how many shinies you get, did you get the shinies you wanted, did you get trolled? like a lot of people have been doing because we're going to dive into some stuff just before we I mean it's about an hour or so before it actually begins I need to go and get some breakfast first from the Walpole Pond not the Walpole Pond I'm not going fishing <laughs> Niantic in typical fashion decided to suddenly drop a buttload of information on us not kidding about 18 hours before the event started here in the UK it actually technically was dropped only about two and a half hours prior to the first regions actual beginning of the event. That's not acceptable at all. You can't do that. And the information they dropped was bad. It was so bad. They basically revealed that the regionals, Mr. Mime, Kangaskhan, Farfetch'd and Tauros are raid locked. It, it, I'm flabbergasted by that frankly. I don't see why it's so difficult to put them in the wild. So they are behind a extra paywall. So people are not happy about that. I vocalized on Twitter a lot yesterday. And also, to begin with, Snorlax, the coveted, one of the coveted new shinies finally released, was going to only be available in special research. And Twitter blew up, I'm not kidding, it was insane. Like, not one positive comment came from it, it was mental. And then suddenly, about an hour after that announcement, Niantic it went, oh, no, don't worry, Snorlax and these other Pokemon will be appearing in the wild, just very rarely. They adjusted their announcement, clearly because they were very worried that the entire player base was going to go against them, which is uh, totally understandable. It was a stupid decision. <laughs> New Zealand and Australia kicked off last night for us. They crashed, the game died and it didn't work or anything for like, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a, maybe half an hour or something. So I'm expecting a makeup day is going to be happening for those lots. So apologies to all of the folks down under. You got trolled again by Niantic, but it's kind of standard nowadays, sadly. They, they don't remember their past events. Like, GoFest 2020, they had to, I think they disabled Go Battle League or something to make it less laggy. But they didn't do that this time, they waited for it to lag out, crash for an hour, and then they decided, oh yeah, let's close off Go Battle League and not have that in the game. Daft. <laughs> and the final bit of news is, is just classic Niantic and classic complete cock up. People who didn't buy the ticket suddenly have access to the event. So that means that all of us who pay the equivalent of £12, $12 or whatever it is in your currency, your local currency, um, total waste of money, total waste of money, because people have been getting prompted for free to pick their version, red or green, and then they get the whole event anyway, and they didn't pay anything. So I'm hoping that Niantic find a way to reimburse us who have actually been mugged off and bought the ticket, and particularly considering the fact that they've made us pay £12, and then effectively made an eight pound paywall on top of it. Admittedly now they are giving you three remote raid passes for free and nine frees, like standard passes. But you have to do four raids to complete the collection challenge. So you can't do four raids with three remote passes now, Antique, you bunch of cretins. I'm hoping that all goes well here. We have a cracking day. It's 12 hours, so I'm gonna be out for the whole time. I am ready. Once again, I have my backpack on. Unbelievable, it's been like, Seven months. <laughs> right, well, it, it turns out that the coffee place is actually not open yet. <laughs> when was that announced? When was that announced? Literally five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. I, got, I, got, I got a notification from Telvin Ticket Ticket holders are getting a makeup event. So if you listen to our podcast, Incense Podcast, link down below, we fucking called it. <laughs> we knew. We called so many things in that podcast. We said the lag would happen. <laughs> yeah, Coops is on it. Oh, dear God. That's hilarious. Makeup event sometime in the future for all ticket holders because, like I said, they decided, hey, let's just push the ticket out for everybody. <laughs> Why not? I mean, fine. If you got the ticket for free, best of luck with the event. But we're twelve pounds out of pocket, so Niantic, you're a bunch of morons. The event's about to kick off at nine o'clock, which is going to be very cool. These spawns should all switch over. I'm just gottering stops to keep my storage up. I'm excited. I want to see what happens. I'm expecting the game to fully lag out while we try and get the event loaded because that's what happened at GoFest 2020 for me. First hour is um, 
Pallet Town hunting the starters for some XL candy. Shiny Pidgey, Shiny Spearow, Shiny Zubat are on the agenda. There goes nine o'clock. Let's see what switches over, if it switches over at all. Come on, begin. There's a Pikachu off incense. Yay! Look, uh, there's the special research. Let's have a little blah 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 blah. This is to get shiny Ditto, of course. All of the spawns have changed. We've somehow completed the first set already. <laughs> How does that work? We get three incense for it, and we get a Pokemon appearing. Let's see what that is going to be. It's a Bulbasaur. Oh, shock, horror, surprise. Right, I'm just going to quick catch that. Pineapple Ultra Ball. Right, stage two. <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> All right, 30 Pokemon, use an incense and take a snapshot of a Bulbasaur. Simple, let's put the last remaining two incense down. Zubat check. No, I do want to see if we can get a shiny. There's another Zubat that I need. I need two more of these shinies. Spiro shiny check, incoming. Not shiny. Pidgey, Pidgey, yes please. Sadly not. Chansey, that's a rare one. That's one of the rarer ones for the day. Eevee, there's a lot of Eevee. A lot, a lot of Eevee, apparently. My arm is very quickly dying because the, the the rucksack like cuts off the blood supply to my arm. <laughs> Whoop. No, sh no shinies. Nothing. There's a there's somebody there. Look, this is somebody in the game. Torcanto challenger. I don't know what we need to do with that, but um, I need to catch some stuff. So let's just carry on. Inadvertently, I completely forgot. But Matt and I are going best friends, which he should have just triggered, and it should be coming up very soon. Let's shiny check the Weedle in the meantime. No shiny on there, but we do need to catch it for the collection challenge. And actually, it's not too cold today, which I'm quite thankful for. No rain, just like a standard sort of mild day, which is kind of on point. I'm doing that. Yes, there we go. 200,000 XP. Thank you very much, Matt, my man. Much appreciate that. You don't need the XP. I don't need the XP, that's fair. But, no, no shiny, but anything. We've got our very first shiny. It's Tangler with the sparkles. Oh, very nice. 214 CP, which, that's actually one of the rare spawns. That's kind of mental. These are one of the ones that was originally just going to be in the special research and everyone was like, No, no, I think what the hell are you doing? That's my first shiny. Not a Pidgey, not a Rattata, not a Bulbasaur or anything. Shiny Tangler. Nice. It's one star, but I don't mind. That's shiny number one. We do need to catch the Pikachu, unfortunately, for the collection challenge. We jumped into the Kangaskhan raid. Everybody's already done it, but thank you to Christopher and Tingley for jumping in, two of the members of the Patreon team. The Patreon is linked below if you want to join. Some exclusive content, some exclusive benefits on that. Very much appreciate every single one who has jumped on side of the Patreon uh, support. And we're gonna see if we can, I need shiny Kangaskhan, I need shiny Farfetch from the regionals. 1420 something I saw, but oh well. Can it be shiny? No. It's bad news, bad news ladies and gentlemen. It's a f***ing Weedle. <laughs> yeah. It was a 2020 calm day. I didn't even mean to click this. I wanted to click the Caterpie that was next to it. And my incense popped this up next to it and I sniped it by complete bloody accident. Ah! Right, we're going to do this Farfetch raid that is right here. So, um, marvellous. I did get one XL candy for it, which is nice. And it is a true middle finger IV. Nice, Niantic. Thank you. Thank you for that. No Caterpie. The one I actually need. I have four hundos of the bloody thing. Don't need, don't need a hundo of it. I do need that glorious pink. Nope, no shiny. Wow, we've got a Mr. Mime check incoming, yes. <laughs> Genuinely just doing this for the collection challenge and getting it done and dusted out of the way. 15, 19, is it gonna be green? Thankfully it's not. And the pidge, the pidgey pidge. No shiny, what a shame, what a shame. But we do have, come on. Why is it Ooh, Tangler? Okay, Tangler is the second reward. Interesting. We've done the Pallet Town one, so we get some kind of reward. 151 dust. Wow, that is super generous. And a Spearow that isn't shiny. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got our third shiny, and it seems that the rare mons are our thing because we just got shiny Chansey in this event. Which honestly, uh, if this is going to continue, I'm fully down. That means shiny Snorlax is ours. Snipe that excellent, thank you very much, with the uh, the single thumb throw. Chansey, Aerodactyl, Lapras, all at this top corner, which is mental. It is a true middle finger zero star shiny, which is marvellous, but there. Oh, Kangaskhan raid from Masterful 27. I might 
I might have to do that. Let me just check some of these shinies, my guy. Kangas Khan, check on camera. I'm not bothering to screen record it because who can be frankly bothered? Level up with Master 27 on YouTube. Thank you very much, my guy. We're going to be recording a podcast later this weekend. Boop. No shiny. We've got some glorious news. Fourth shiny is a Caterpie. And it's a level one, which I am, honestly, I am so chuffed to bits with that. That's fan bloody tastic because I needed two of those. I needed two of those so badly. The first ever shiny Caterpie and my only shiny Caterpie was from 2019's bug event. That's how long it has been. Caterpie just doesn't spawn enough. Yes, I am pleased with that. I am dead chuffed with that. Level one. Weird stats, but I'm fine with that. Fantastic. Focus on me, not on Nakeem. Thank you, camera. Sorry, Nakeem. Hey. We've taken down a Moltres. and see if we can get shiny. This is the first legendary of the day. 2440 something. Can it be shiny? 2475. No shiny Moltres like most of the times before. 20. Oh, nice. Very nice indeed. We're actually on our way to do a Mewtwo raid, and we've got a shiny Eevee. Which is very nice indeed. I haven't had a shiny. Actually, I tell a lie, I've had a shiny Eevee quite recently. <laughs> Five shinies. Less than an hour in. Not too bad in my point of view. Let's see if there's any decent stats and if it's worth an evolve. 13 candy. Oh, hey, it's actually a, it's a terrible three starer. Not bad. And what do I click? Oh god. No, why am I even clicking the Rattata? Weedle. I'm just asking for trouble now, aren't I? Pray for me in the comments there's no soft ban on this, but look. Literally, like two checks later, shiny Pidgey. That's my second ever. Oh yes, I am so hyped with that. Yes, six shinies. Insane. I am actually so pumped with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is why Palette Town actually has some banging shinies in it. Two star. I do not care. Second shiny Pidgey ever. Are we jumping into the Mewtwo? Yeah. Right, gotcha. Oh my god, oh, that's very weird. We got a sh Mewtwo shiny check incoming and it's not shiny, not shiny. 2907 is very bad. We're looking for like 2983 or something. So uh, I'm going to try and catch this with the silver pineapple. It's actually ticked over to 10 o'clock, which means that we're now into Pewter City, I think it is. So, which is quite cool. So we're going to try and catch some of these quickly. This hour has the new shiny of Paras. Which that isn't, unfortunately. But it also has Rhyhorn, Geodude, Onyx, Magnemite in it as well. So I'm definitely going to be hunting some of these. Geodude is a shiny hunt. Rhyhorn and Magnemite are XL candy hunts. Come on, dude. Come on. Nah. And we got one Lickitung check, obviously. Boom! No shiny gold Lickitung, but we have... Oh, Bellsprout off incense, please! That's, a, that's one I need. That's literally the reason I picked the green bloody ticket, was to get the shiny Bellsprout. So now we've got this next hour to grind. Let's bloody carry on. We just got a house shiny, which is Rhyhorn. Dope, and it's, oh dear, it's a level one again. Oh my God, okay, right. I'm not taking any chances, we are gonna go and razz it. I know that some people are like, why are you going and razzing your shinies? I'm all about collecting the shinies. That's what I'm about. Sweet, first shiny of this hour. Rhyhorn, genuinely one I want to get some more of. Now I'll do it again. For God's sake, I hit the record button, the camera didn't freaking register it, but we actually got our second ever shiny Geodude just now. And oh, we just completed a collection challenge actually. Sorry, I actually, I, I'm just so annoyed. I wanted to actually catch like the recording. I was so hyped. I was so hyped because I just, the previous incense spawn was a bell sprout and it had despawned, and then the next one was a Geodude. So, oh, I need to complete the collection challenge. Clicked it, bam, shiny. I was dead hyped with that. But um, now that's kind of gone because I didn't press the record because I'm an idiot. So I hope you enjoyed that clip. And um, this is the last regional we need for the raid challenge thing, the raid collection challenge. And it's just Articuno and Zapdos that we need to try and find, which is pretty nifty. This regional is the only one I managed to hatch out of that whole regional egg hatching thing in, what was it, 2019? 2019, I think. And it literally cost me a lot of incubators to get it, but down it goes. If I get the green one of this, I'll be a little bit mad because I want to get the I want to get the Kangaskhan and the Farfetch instead of this. Bam! No shiny. Come on. No green. Ah well, that's okay. Right, shiny grind continues. Kangaskhan check. We'll see what we can get. I'm really annoyed that these are raid locked because you have to waste so much time doing them. No shiny. Completed. Yes. I didn't get the shiny. Flick in and out, it's that one. Boom! Shiny family done. 
Geodude in the bag. Ah, oh, yes. That is completed. Super pleased with that. It is only 89 CP, so they've all been really low. I think the other one was like 82. That's one I wanted to complete. So now I can tick that off the list. It's done and dusted. No more. And it's like a PvP weird stat, but hey ho. I mean, check, actually, the Magnemite. The Magnemite is what I want. We did a Zapdos raid, wasn't shiny, wasn't good, managed to catch it, but Lewis, my man, very helpfully did all of the trades with me for the red version, which, if I don't, if I don't completely ruin the audio for the clip, it means we can complete this collection challenge and get 1,510 dust, as a bit of a weird one, and a couple of lucky eggs and stuff, which is pretty sweet, so that's another collection challenge in the bag. And we need to send three or two more gifts. We've actually just done those gifts, so now we can claim stage four out of the eight of the special research. And... What's it going to be? A licky tongue. Oh, great, wow. <laughs> We've done stage five. Stage five is already done, which is very nice. It's very simple to do, actually. Ten different Pokemon, 20 berries, and this is going to give us an Aerodactyl. Wow. What's this going to be? A free remote raid? Well, just a raid pass. Nice. And a Snorlax that isn't shiny. I haven't seen a single Snorlax in the wild yet. Battling three raids evolve a Pokemon and power Pokemon five times. That's very convenient because we're going to do the Articuno raid. And 2130 something is pretty poor, but can it be the sort of pale blue? Battling one raid, no shiny. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's ticked over to 11 o'clock, which means, oh, there we go, that's the 10th collection challenge done because we did all of the raids. Now, look at this. This is one of the worst hours to do, I'm not gonna lie, um, because there's, they're all kind of meme Pokemon. Might click them just to see what we can get shiny, to be honest, but um, yeah, don't need any of these. Two TMs and an encounter. What's it gonna be with? Bump. Oh, a Snorlax that isn't shiny. We have a shiny Mewtwo check incoming. I completely missed the number, but that's fine. Can it be green? That's the question. But no, no green. 2914, trash. Since I was last on camera, three things have happened. First and foremost, I had my coffee. I had a very nice coffee, and while I was drinking it, I got two shiny horsies, ladies and gentlemen, out of the Silurian hour or whatever it is. So, um, which was, that was cool, you know. Now we're into the Fuchsia City hour, which for me purely consists of oh, the Venonat. I need that for the collection challenge. I need the shiny Venonat, actually. That's, that's a point. It's a shiny Drowsy hunt now. Shiny Drowsy is the one that we need. So um, that's entirely the focus. The only problem is, is that Drowsy Shiny was the only Pokemon in the red ticket selection that would have interested me. Everything else was complete rubbish, that's why I went green, but I may have shot myself in the foot with that one, but we'll have to see, shall we? Get yourselves hyped, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Shiny Bellsprout off of the incense. This was literally why I bought the ticket. This is why I chose green, and it's finally successful. That was a weird throw, completely botched it, but yes, I am bloody happy with that. Ah, oh, it's such a nice shiny, rare as well. Niantic threw it away in a stupid event. 13 candy for it, mad. It's a one star, but that is actually beautiful. Yes, happy days. I need to get stream recording going before I even start talking. Come on, Milo, you're, you're a professional. There we go, <laughs> look at that. Second, second shiny bell sprout. So. Two thirds of the way to the family done. We went from zero to two real fast because that's actually back to back bell sprout checks. Both off of incense. Ah, oh, yes, if I can get the family done, like the Geodude family done. If I can get the bell sprout family done as well, that'd be bloody awesome. That's a middle finger. I think we might have to evolve that one just because of why not. Venomat! No bell. I'm not sure what we're going to do next though because you know, a few Mewtwo raids would be cool. We've got 25 minutes of this hour left before we switch over to the Pokemon League, which will have all of the rare stuff. Oh, actually, I forgot. Oh, is this a special... Is this the Ditto? Is this the shiny Ditto bit? Oh, yes! It's the shiny Ditto. 350. 350. Oh, that's high 90s. That's actually that's not bad. Shiny Ditto hype, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It, it's the cobalt kind of blue. It reminds me of the blue that you see on like Focus RS and Jaguar F types, that sort of blue. 
Like the video if you know what you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ditto, the, the ditto appeared in pink text, not gold. That was odd. Interesting. Do you see that? Shiny ditto. It's a 91. 91 percent shiny ditto. 15 attack? Yeah, 15 attack. So next oh, range, can you use it? That's amazing. That's so cool. We could max it out just for and giggles, you know. Oh, that's epic. Yes! I'm so happy with that. Why do I never, I never record egg hatches and I'm so stupid I should have. This is, Kanto region eggs are a thing for the event. We just hatched a shiny Dratini. What? They, they haven't had a shiny Dratini for years. Literally years. Oh my God. 10K egg hatch. No way. That's insane. First 10k egg of this whole event, and it's a shiny Dratini. Mental. Oh, I love the pink. Let me know if you had any egg luck hatching shinies. All right, we've got another shiny, and it's Hitmon Lee. We didn't even get this. This isn't our boosted one. Hitmon Chan is our ticket boosted one for the green, but we've got this one. I do love like the green, totally different shiny. Weather boosted as well. So 2025, I think we saw. Oh my God, don't you dare. That was a Golden Raz Ultra Ball. Don't you dare break out. Don't you dare. Thank you, sitting down, Hitmonlee. Jesus Christ. Yes, that's one of the shinies that we needed today. One of the new ones. And it's a weird, weird stats, but that looks dope. That looks so cool. Let me know in the comments if you managed to get your Hitmonlee or the Hitmon Chan. Can we go back to back? No, that would be insane. Comde esque. <laughs> Uh, literally about two nanoseconds later and we get a shiny Eevee. Look at that, it's shiny Eevee number two of the day. Sweet, nice. I, I can't complain about shiny Eevee, even though it's had a calm day and multiple events and go fest events and all of that gubbins. 13 candy, nice. Zero star, bloody brilliant. Uh, we don't really care about the magma. Oh, there, there's a 14th collection challenge done. Very nice indeed. Success, we have the shiny Hitmonchan. 2093 CP as well. Absolutely high, high level. That's very high level. That is very like high level. Five. It's weather boosted as well. That's the thing, isn't it? It's mental. So that's the set. Those are the two new shinies that everyone was pretty hyped about. Obviously, shiny Ditto. Snorlax is a hard one to get, but these two are properly good. It's two star, but it's definitely like level 34 or 35 or something. Yes. I am dead pleased with that. That's fantastic. I hope I don't get copyrighted by that. <laughs> Just waiting to get some food for lunch and thank you to Ian for this Mewtwo raid. Is it going to be shiny? No, sadly not. No Scottish shiny. 2374. I think 2387 is the hundo, so that's actually pretty decent as a Mewtwo. I'm going to catch off camera. Hatched a shiny Dratini and now we get one in the wild. Literally having caught the Mewtwo, next check is the pink Dratini. <laughs> We've just gone back to the pallet town for the second cycle and second check is another shiny Pidgey. 382 is yep. what I got. <laughs> snap <laughs> shinies snap with shine. Lewis's mum's account. Ah, oh, jokes. Jokes. That shiny Pidgey family completed. Oh, no soft ban, thank you very much, game. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. So that's the Geodude and the Pidgey line completed. We just need one more Bell Sprout and then we're done. Honestly, today he's actually been smashing. Fan. Fantastic. And an XL candy. Oh, nice. Pincer? I need a pincer. I need a good pincer <laughs> off of incense and it's not happening. I'll go on this. It's shiny triangle. Let's do it. I have no idea if it's in focus. Three, two, two one, one, go. Boom. No. 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 Lag, lag. No. Nada. Crazy. Well, we've just got our shiny Vulpix for the day. First one, and I'm surprised it's taken this long considering shiny Vulpix is actually boosted. But, rather worryingly, we've just heard someone has done page one of the Mew Quest. Page two of the shiny Mew Quest requires you to catch your Pokemon 30 days in a row. So immediately that's a month of your time. And then you have to catch 30 Pokemon of each type, which depending on where you live in the world, could take you forever to do. Zero star shiny Volpix. So yeah, at least we know kind of what we're up against now. Well, if you think about it, a dual typing actually helps with it as well. A dual typing does help. And I'm sure events and comm days will assist as well, but it's a month. You have to wait a month afterwards. So 
They did say it was going to be a grind. Thanks, Ian. Thank you, Ian, for this Mewtwo raid invite, which we're going to shiny check on the camera. Yes! You got it. Tiony 364, shiny Mewtwo. Oh, I got it as well. Hey, double shiny from Ian's Scottish raid. Nice. Thanks, dude, for that. It will be named after you, my guy. Named after Ian. Oh. Beautiful. What was your CP, man? Uh, so yours is not that good. Mine, I believe this will be a 91 or something. Uh, an 18, no, it's a 91. It is actually a 91%. Not too shabby, thank you so much, Ian. We actually just got one of my favorite colored shinies. The Nidoran male. There's that nice sort of blue, it's not quite cobalt, it's sort of somewhere in between baby blue and, um, and cobalt color, isn't it? But it's a sweet ass shiny. Sweet shiny. I think we're going. Oh, Lewis is taking a pause. He's sorting out his charges, so we'll hang fire here. Nice. 3XL candy for that catch. What? 3 what did you get from No, no, no. Wild catch. 3XL for that. Oh, it's high level, but. Really? Come on, pincer. Pincer, nothing off of the incense has actually been any good. Can't lie, because the Hitmonchan that I got wasn't even an incense spawn. So genuinely my incense spawns have been really bad, but I'll take what I got. I think we're up to like 28 shinies or something, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> Check from Brianna from Canada. Thank you so much, Brianna. I honestly, I love the Mewtwo raid invites. 2375. I think we're actually on pretty good IV scale of things. Can it be a back-to-back -back Mewtwo? No. That would be too insane, but actually, that's pretty insane. That might be a 93%, which I'll be absolutely down for. Obviously, they have Psy Strike and all of their exclusive move the legendary, so these are the top priority when the Kanto Day's finished. So by the time you watch this video, if your Kanto Day's finished, take the chance to raid Mewtwo. We have actually done a Mewtwo raid in our own at, you know, city, our own area. Um, I'll do it on camera if that's all right. Just gives the go, be green, no shiny, and 23.49, bin. There's another one, just a red line, we're gonna smash now. Mewtwo number two is done. Yeah, 23.16, wow, that's so bad. That is awful, but is it gonna be green? I kind of, I don't know, lucky trade? Nah, well, I mean, let me know if you got your shiny Mewtwo during this Kanto tour day. Thank you for Curti TBD for this raid invite in New Jersey. For Mewtwo, can it be no shiny? Finally! He's got shiny. Shut up! Yes, dude. PC's rather stolen my moment with that. I got a shiny Bulbasaur. Yeah. Oh, 922. That's a high CP one. But I mean, congrats to congrats to Lewis for finally getting a shiny Lapras. Well, 25 minutes into the second wave of the uh, Future City Hour, which is the one I'm hunting shiny Drowsy for. But just been home. Toilet break get a banana and uh, two shinies, Omanyte, and as you'll see on the screen, another execute, which I needed. So execute family done. That was one I wanted to get ticked off. We have Sue. This is your favorite shiny. It's wild Lapras. Yes. The purple plyosaur, plesiosaur, whatever the hell you call it. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm cool with that. I am Failing to throw, give me a second. I hope that that sticks. I hope that that sticks in the ball. No, it instant breakout. Really? Golden Raz Ultra Ball. Oh, mighty. I can now hit a Golden Raz excellent curve. You better stick in the ball, mate. Stay in the ball. Thank you. I like it. I like it. It's a nice shiny. It's zero star. But it's a good one to tick off of the list. Yeah, he's got a shiny Eevee. Lol. I live in hope that this will be a shiny far fetched. No. Damn it! We finally got one of the bloody incense spawns that we were supposed to have. Literally, this has taken so long. Eight hours or something off of incense. This is supposed to be a boosted green ticket shiny. And it's only just come through. No. Marvellous. Bang! If this focuses, we've just got our final shiny bell sprout that we needed. So that is three in a day. Done. Family completed. Yeah, we're coming up nearly to the end of the scheduled hours and then it's two hours mad dash towards the end. Oh, two star shiny, not too bad, but ooh, not a shiny Snorlax, which is a real shame. I'm, I'm not kidding. This is literally two checks after I just turned the camera off. And uh, 
it's a meme shiny Porygon. Shiny Porygon, actually number two of the day, which is 69 CP. Yeah, meme shiny. Ticked off the list. I'm sorry it's a bit dark, but it's now night time. We got a late night farfetch check. Incoming! Be shiny! I don't, I haven't seen anybody getting the shiny regionals from raids. Not one person today, which is extraordinary. There are zero Paras and Spiro spawns. Zero. I haven't seen one. Oh no, I tell a lie. There's one up there. Guys, there's a Paras. Let's go. <laughs> it's Mewtwo check time. Thanks, Sue, for the invite. This, this is, this is shit light. Can it be the green Mewtwo? No. Ah, oh, in the pitch black darkness, we've got ourselves a frozen Gordon Ramsay duck. It's <laughs> fucking raw. That's, that's what it is. That's actually the second one today. The other one was at, oh my god, the other one was actually on the opposite side of the road a couple of hours ago. That's spooky as hell. 778, that's a spicy number of one star. Sod off, you stupid NPCs. I've done your bollocks. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's Samir with a, a Mewtwo invite that I've already missed. Oh. <laughs> Good one, Milo. You missed a Mewtwo invite, you idiot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't I haven't started screen record because I'm an idiot. Uh, let me begin that. There we go. Network error. How about that? Snorlax check. Bam. Isn't shiny. What a shame. 1787 is poor, but we do have a research task, and then two farfetch raids. While I've been doing the raids, the gotcha has done some work. It's gotcha me my first shiny Sandshrew of the day, finally, and my fourth shiny Bell Sprout of the day. So, a big up gotcha. I recommend Gotcha Evolve f***ing Snorlax finally catches, Jesus Christ, and on the note of that, research check, not shiny from research, what a shame, very trashworthy. So trashworthy I missed the throw. The bottom cluster oh, just getting the ball! Snorlax is supposed to have a 40% increase in its catch rate, and literally it no, doesn't catch. No, the base catch rate got increased to 40%. It's yes, it hasn't, Lacturous. it's just sort of green circle. Lacturous. Great, great lighting. That's the, that's better. I'll blind myself. Hey, it's me out of focus. We've just done a far fetch raid, and can it be shiny? <coughs> no. Sick. Can We've just had two right? last minute shinies. I've just picked up a shiny Tangler, which is what we started the day on, and Lewis has just picked up a shiny Volpix. We have literally got less than two minutes to go. We went for a Snorlax that was just down the road from where I live and it wasn't shiny unfortunately. It was a level 1, 41 CP, grand total of, but maybe we end the day with how we started in terms of shinies. Nice, I think we'll get the last couple of checks on camera because we can do it. Pikachu, yeah I know, well I'm not in the shopping centre technically. Oh bugger off whoever you are. Ghastly, uh, and Weedle, do I dare do it? Yes do it. Oh my god it's shiny. Oh my god, it's shiny. What did I say? For God's sake. Ah, it worked. <laughs> no, we're not starting off or ending how we started off. We're ending with our second hey, shiny of the day. Less than a minute to rock and roll with this. Oh my god. Weedle. Bam. Done and dusted. We're going to get a final incense spawn. A seal, maybe? No? Meow, I thought, God, please, no. Thank God. I don't want that shiny. I think that might be it. There is a raid, Mewtwo. I'll take I'll take the raid invites when I'm editing. Come on! Oh, no, not green. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's it. Nine o'clock, we have been on the go for just over 12 hours. Except obviously this time we've been out and about rather than sat at our desk over and over again. What a day. What a day. Change weather. <laughs> Aaron, yeah. <laughs> We've found the sacred light of uh, Pitsanger Manor. We have something we need to do. That was mad, that last dash cluster. But what we need to do is we need to type shiny and age zero. 52. Oh, not, not too bad, actually. Damn. And the thing is, I would say, unlike GoFest, I actually got a lot of shinies that I really, really wanted and needed. So, another Caterpie, I needed that. We got the Geodude family done, the Pidgey family done, the Bellsprout shiny family done, the Hitmonlee and the Hitmonchan, the double Dratini, which was just mental, actually. Yeah, the Execute I wanted. Can't argue with the shiny Lapras, to be honest. 
the, I, honestly, I, and, the, and the sand through as well. So genuinely today has been one of the best days in terms of finishing off shinies and stuff. I'm absolutely hugely pleased with the progress. I would say I could probably get have gotten more shinies had I checked absolutely everything. I didn't click Meowth, I didn't click Pikachu, I didn't really click anything that was of no relevance to me, but I'm not I'm not worried about that. I still need to do the evolving collection challenge thing. I'll do that in later in the week because frankly I can't bother to do that on camera. It takes too fucking long. I'm also I have no idea about the XL candy growing which is kind of what I wanted to do, but I don't care anymore. Like genuinely Rhyhorn, where are we at? Oh my god, we literally got four. Four XL candy from Rhyhorn, and we, we caught every single one that we saw. That's a joke, that's a piss take. And uh, I will round up at home now, because I, I need a cider. <laughs> I need to copy the footage over, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're back home now, and I'm about to start copying the footage, and I'll get this edit underway. But before we end off the video, I can finally evolve a shiny Pidgey, which literally has eluded me for so freaking long it's unreal actually unreal um so we finally can get shiny pidgeotto and then shiny pidgeot in the game i couldn't even get it from a freaking mega raid can you believe it like not at all so oh. in look at that that actually looks freaking nice as a shiny i will keep the complete the family but let's freaking send that over right now uh, i just want to say um it was a cracking day very, very good day, not going to deny that, but uh, there were very poignant negative points, which still, that looks freaking good, that looks so good, doesn't it, as a shiny, nice, <sighs> at long last, caught on the Kanto day. On the note of shinies, Snorlax was basically non-existent, and this was a problem in the way that they announced it. If you remember, the announcement originally said they'd only be available through special research, which everybody went in uproar about. Rightly so, rightly so. I'm just going to turn this lamp on, actually. Let's do that. There you go. You can actually see me now. Um, then they changed it, saying it will be super rare in the wild. But Snorlax was put into the same bracket as Tangler, Lickitung, uh, Lapras, and Aerodactyl, and apparently Cubone, but Cubone I never saw in the wild today. Not one, which I'm kind of thankful for. Snorlax, three in the wild all day, and most were in raids. You got three or four from quests and um, wherever it was, snapshot. It was poorly done. Shiny Snorlax, if you could shiny hunt that thing in the wild, would have been such a good hype, such an awesome trail to go on. And they denied us all that. And I'm very annoyed with that because Shiny Snorlax was one of the coveted shinies for the event and they didn't let you really get it. No chance. Nobody in our group today got Shiny Snorlax at all because you just simply couldn't encounter it enough. The other thing, the shiny regionals in raids. The raid system itself today was fantastic. Short timers, 25 minutes, very, very instant egg hatches, actually. So it was like one raid despawn, and then 30 seconds later, a new one appeared, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. Kept things fresh, kept things going. Brilliant. But raid locking regionals, poor move. Very poor move. They should have been in the Future City hour, which I believe is a Safari Zone style hour. They should have been in the wild for that, so you could actually hunt them. I did as many raids as I could realistically do. Certainly towards the end of the evening, I did a lot more Kangaskhan and Farfetch raids than I did throughout the rest of the day, purely because I wanted the shiny jet the rest of the day. And that's the problem, is there was too much going on. The actual game started sort of lagging, not due to other regions logging on so much, but because of the NPC Go Battle challenge people. You know the players that you encounter at Pokestops with different challenges and um, different lineups that people created for the contest? Those lagged the game to all hell and made it very annoying. You couldn't really spin stops at all if you didn't have a gotcha or a go plus. You were constantly having to quit battles in order to spin stops and then try and encounter Pokemon. It was quite irritating. Um, so that and the regional locking raids, very bad decisions in my, in my opinion really. I think you should have had an option to turn off the NPCs in your game potentially. Or once you've done the quest, maybe you don't have them appear anymore. That would have been quite useful. Uh, and the regional raids should have been in the wild as well as in raids. Snorlax should have been more common in the wild. So those are my viewpoints on this. But actually, on the podcast, Incense Podcast, um, you can check us out on Twitter. Linked uh, also below. We are going to be doing a bit of a debrief and a 
reflection on this Canto Day in the next episode, which will probably come out on the Monday. So make sure you stay tuned on our social media for that. 52 Shinies, the shiny ditto. It's just too awesome. Honestly, I am so pleased that you can get it in the game now. I am very curious to see how they're going to put it in the wild, though. How are they going to put it in the wild, if at all? I really don't want this shiny ditto to be like shiny Celebi and Mew. It's not a mythical, it's a wild Pokemon. Anyway, look, with that, I've been rambling on for six minutes, so this video is probably going to be freaking hours long. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please do make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on, so you don't miss an upload or a live stream. And, of course, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Do follow me on Twitter, at PogoMiloUK, and you can follow me on Instagram, at PogoMiloUKYT. How was your shiny ditto, actually? I didn't ask that before. Did you get a good shiny ditto, or did you do what some other people have done and lucky traded them? Because you got five special trades today, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, with that, I'll see you all in the next video, or the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.